Hi, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our first pop-up talk, and our second one today is with Vicki Salmel. Hello. So here I am doing the second pop-up talk, and I thought I was going to talk about my TD stance as a teacher and as a teacher trainer. I think it is funny and interesting that it hasn't always been the same over time or even coincided with each other. So as a teacher, I'm going to try to do a little uh, autobiographical journey into my stance. Uh, as a teacher, uh, I haven't always enjoyed the top-down approach to TD, like being imposed that I have to go to certain talks or do certain courses. It hasn't always been my favorite. Um, however, uh, on the contrary, I have always been very, very curious about exploring my own interests. I have always found time to do that, and I have always made time to do that. Um, so, um, in a way, I have always tried to forge my own TD path uh, over the years. Um, so, for example, big conferences like this are a great opportunity to create a personalized TD program that can tap into your specific, but sometimes multiple and diversified interests. Um, Technology has always been a great ally to me. I'm a fan of learning technologies, and it has always been my first interest when I started teaching. But it has been a great help in pursuing my teacher development. It has helped me connect with people from around the world, and uh, it has helped me to learn about what's going on in other places and what people are doing in different contexts, in different countries, and then comparing to what I was thinking I was doing. So um, I've done different types of teacher development. I've done face-to-face -face courses and seminars and conferences and virtual webinars and MOOCs. But I think what I have most enjoyed is the contact with colleagues face-to-face -face and virtual and uh, the exchange we can have uh, by sharing experiences. Um, so my, my gain in my teacher development journey as a teacher has been the possibility of sharing my experiences, learning from others, and this has allowed me to reflect, to change my beliefs, and to modify my practice. But then, along the way, I became a teacher trainer. And so I had to start thinking about TD options for my teachers. And um, it's unhappy to say that my first stance as a trainer was a top-down approach, <laughs> which I myself didn't enjoy very much. But at the very beginning, that's what I decided to do. I started considering what topics I thought my teachers needed to develop, and I started to create options for development in those areas. Uh, over the years, uh, that has changed, and uh, these days what I do is I try to identify my teachers' areas of interest or areas of development that I think they might benefit from, and we create action plans to try to solve or to work on those areas. Uh, how do we do that? Uh, well, we have had meetings, classroom observations, uh, discussions among colleagues, one-on-one -on -one or in groups. Um, and I think the most valuable part of that is that we together, because it's not about me, <laughs> we together can create the compromise of certain direction to, to be followed so that they can benefit from the teacher development and they can develop in the areas that they really need to develop and want to develop. Uh, so, in conclusion, um, my stance as a teacher and as a trainer has not always been the same. However, it has inf they have influenced each other and, and, and my experience as a teacher developing has influenced the way I now see 
development as a trainer. Thank you very much. Bye.